How's it guys? Um, today's video is just to show you guys how simple it is to send BTC from one person to another, how quick and easy and inexpensive it is. Um, I'm paying a friend that's in Durban um, for a protein shake she's sending me. She's collecting Bitcoin because she sees the potential. She's adopted Gary's um, strategy of how to diversify your Bitcoin and um, her why, the reason she wants to make more money and the reason that drives her is that she just wants to travel the world. So guys, find your why. Find the reason, whether it's um, financial freedom or whether you want to put your kids through private school or whether you want to travel the world, whatever it is, find it. And um, I encourage you to at least have a look at Gary's video on his whole strategy of how you should diversify your Bitcoin um, to minimize risk and to maximize um, profits. Have a look at that, guys, because we met with two guys yesterday as well, friends that we've helped. And um, they joined about a month ago. And using Gary's strategy, they've doubled their money more than doubled their money within a month. Okay, so have a look at that. Um, and once again, we're not financial advisors, um, but we share what works for us. And um, hopefully you can make that work for you because we want to see everybody prosper. Okay, so I'm going to take you to my Luno account. I think the first thing that people need to understand, okay, they get hugely frightened by this um, long string of letters and numbers that is your Bitcoin wallet address, okay? Guys, see it as a bank account um, number. You know, so when you, when you do a transaction to somebody else's bank account, you need their bank account details, okay? Um, it's the same thing, it's just a little longer and there's a couple of letters in there too, okay? Always remember to copy and paste that number and double check it, triple check it if you have to. Um, if you send money to the wrong Bitcoin wallet, then there's no, no getting it back, okay? Um, you need to be, because this is decentralized and there's no third party, no bank taking control of your money, you need to be responsible for your money, okay? Um, so what I first want to show you before I show you the payment is where to find your wallet address. So I've logged into my Luno account. If you click on more over here, you're going to see all these different options, but we want to receive Bitcoin. So to find your wallet address, you want to give somebody else um, the address so you want to receive money. Okay, so receive Bitcoin. That was a mouthful. Okay, um, and that'll be your Bitcoin wallet address for Luno. Okay, highlight it, copy it and then paste it and send it to whoever is sending you money. All right, Lauren has sent me hers and I have copied it already. And um, so we're going to come back to the main screen and I'm going to be sending her money. Another thing that you'll notice is that there's not much money in my um, Luna account. Now, Luna is a South African exchange. Ideally, you don't want to be keeping your Bitcoin on any kind of exchange. Generally, they save but there are a few that have been hacked and there is a bit more risk attached, okay? So either open a Bitcoin wallet, a safe Bitcoin wallet, otherwise you need to get yourself a, a, like a Trezor or some sort of external hard drive that can keep your Bitcoin on, okay, and keep it safe. I think Gary has done videos on that too. I will attach it down below. Okay, so we'll be sending her Bitcoin. Okay, and then here you can put in the mobile number or the Bitcoin address that you're sending to. I'm going to paste her address here. I have triple checked it. I know that that's her address, okay? And then here you can choose. If you know the Bitcoin amount that you need to send, you can keep this here as BTC. If you're unsure and you know the RAND amount, or in anybody else's case, dollars, whatever you're working in, we're going to click on rands because that's I know that I have to send her 365. I hope that's right. 365 rand, okay. Um, I'm going to put here shake. Oh, let's put Lauren. Okay. And we'll click next. 
open. Authorize your transaction. Okay, so guys, this is an important part that people often forget, and I've done it myself in the past, and then the money doesn't go through, doesn't go through, and you're having a heart attack because where's this money? Go check your emails, okay? So we're going to go to my mailbox. We can get to it here. Yeah. Mm, it's not open. Okay, I had to shuffle things around a little bit there. Um, but we got into my mails, and here's the authorization email. It's telling you exactly how much is being moved. And with Luna, what's nice is it does put in the transaction fee as well, okay? So you don't have to work it out and add on, or it, it does it for you, okay? So we're going to authorize that payment. Transaction has been authorized, okay? So guys, it's really that easy, and um, you do, don't ever have to send from Luno to Luno. You can send from Luno to any other Bitcoin wallet, okay? As long as you have a Bitcoin wallet address and you have a Bitcoin wallet or exchange, you can send Bitcoin to somebody else who also has a Bitcoin wallet or exchange. So I hope this has been helpful. Guys, give me a thumbs up if it has been. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and um, we'll see you again soon.